Alrighty. We should be about live now, I think. <clears throat> I think that was my cat slamming headfirst into my door. Ads getting to you. Ads are the devil. <laughs> Hooray! Also, you can see I found a better place for the chat. I think it looks nice there. So, let's get going. Yeah, last time we found out the kidnappers uh, stole Camellia instead of Amelia, which I guess is understandable if they were going by her name. And uh, oh yeah, Camellia had a core, which means she died and got revived, which is a bit of a problem. Don't slam desks, Lynn. That's rude. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's what we're all trying to figure out here, Lynn. Though, I think it's just a case of stupidity on their part. Just a bit. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that's a little bit of a problem. a bit curious. They didn't have cores, or at least the guy didn't. I think his name is Dandy. I don't remember. <clears throat> also, this dude just has the weirdest hair. I feel like I should be picking him up and mopping the floor with him. Am I the only one who gets that feeling? Seriously, dude? You're a realist, and I promise you there is a real ghost right here. <laughs> hmm, sounds like that was where he was trying to call that second time when uh, nothing happened. I'm not sure about that, yeah. They're being watched? Also, this right here kind of makes me like the Justice Minister, despite his problems. Whether it's his daughter or not, he doesn't, uh want her to die. Also, that's a familiar way of talking. Hey, it's Cabanella. I really love his theme. His walk less so. It's just very odd looking. That too. Is it like Michael Jackson moves or something? It looks familiar.
Wow. Cavanella is flexible. Uh, can you hear it? I can turn the game up. I'll turn the game up a bit. How's that? Apparently I have been keeping the game too quiet. Perfect. It can be kind of hard to tell sometimes because the game can be very quiet <laughs> during certain sections and the music completely cuts out. I turned my voice up a bit. Is that better? Also, here's a question. You were literally right outside the prison. Why did you bring him here? <laughs> that seems a little bit unorthodox. back into the prison they just escaped from, right? Cavanella, you're a weirdo. Well, yeah. I love this thing. Something's kind of fishy with that, though. Lynn pointed out what I was thinking. He was literally right outside the prison, even. That could be a reason. That could explain why he brought him here. The Cavanilla is oddly silent. Very oddly silent. I think Lynn hit a nerve. <laughs> You're right! <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I do the exact same thing. <laughs> about lanky enough to be banned. Looks like he's got the shoulder span as well. Maybe he's alternate universe old man ban. No. There we go. Okay, let's see if Lynn's got anything to to help us out. Promise Magnus as well, yes indeed. I mean, that's kind of what kidnappers do, Lynn. If you remember, she's actually the feverish little girl we saw next door in uh, Camellia's room while they were saving her after missiles after missile died. That's honestly not too hard if you don't actually know what you're 
target looks like, but here's my question. If this kidnapping was so important, how do they not have a picture? Or is it just because Dandy's incompetent? <laughs> Maybe Jowd will have something more uh, substantial to tell us. Yeah, um, about that. <laughs> yeah, there's a worse problem with this, Jowd. Cause that's not actually Amelie. It's your daughter. <laughs> yep, sorry, but it is. Also, this line right there, right there, should be very alarming to Jowd. <laughs> I think that reveal shocked them just a bit. And Jared, you kind of just gave yourself away being defensive like that. You're usually very calm to so the fact that you probably sh that you just immediately shouted uh I love Sissel's verbal slap right there. Like, he didn't hold- he didn't no, no holds bar. he just came for Jowd right in that. Swing right in the face, broken nose. Now we actually get to ask him questions. I know, I just love the fact that Sissel was just so no-nonsense about it, he just came in swinging. <laughs> Probably because he wants to protect Camellia as much as everyone else does. Since that rope burned, nothing was left of the uh, contraption, it looks like. Yeah, she kind of told us that, Sissel. Or Camellia. I don't think Jowd will know much about the powers of the dead, so let's start with what he actually already knows. Also, that sounds utterly adorable. Was she Yugo's little sister? That explains why the gun was there. No, the other strange point is, why did you have a loaded gun on display? Aren't you supposed to, like, take the bullets out of those after you, before you put them on display, after you've got them cleaned and everything?
And we actually saw this happen when we uh, saved Lynn from a similar contraption. <clears throat> Also, they manipulated it, huh? Like, why do you have to do this? Camellia was tiny. She clearly wouldn't have done it intentionally. <laughs> And she's clearly also not, like, going to forget she's the one who shot her mom. <laughs> it might still be murder, but accidental murder doesn't usually carry anywhere near the amount of punishment, especially with a little child. I'm assuming that he just wanted Camellia to not know that, but she clearly did. That's what's in the music box. The gun is in the music box. But why is the gun important? Like, I'm not criticizing, I'm just genuinely a bit confused here as to why the... why the gun is significant. And I don't know if that's just me not understanding, or uh, if I've missed something, or if it's just gonna be explained later. this. Why did the powers of the dead lead to this? Oh! Because Sissel can manipulate things and Jowd saw that. So he now thinks that uh, that a ghost might have had a hand in it. But that's a different problem. Then again, considering she already knows about the power of the dead, we already surmised there might be another ghost somewhere. Especially because Camille had a core and we didn't save her. So there's at least one other ghost out there. A little? It's like 12 a.m., 1 a.m. at most. You still got like five hours, Sissel, you're fine. Especially since this seems to kind of be in like an American country, possibly? I think I've discussed it before, but this game is actually canonly part of the Phoenix Wright universe. Like, they've legitimately stated that this game is in fact in the same universe as Phoenix Wright. And since Phoenix Wright takes place in Japan, the English version has just got massively stupidly rewritten to be in America for literally no reason. This is a different country. I think you are right, considering the electric chair was only ever used in America. <clears throat> so Ghost Trick is in America, Phoenix Wright is, is in Japan. Also, I feel like Cabanella is just very, very confused right now. Because <laughs> it's out of nowhere, Lynn uh, and Detective Jow are talking about this. 
Sweet! I think we've got Jad on board! We do indeed! Yes! Another detective! Cabanella faintly in the background. Whoop, Garn! Um... How? <laughs> like, that I can do something about, but how am I supposed to help Jod? <laughs> How are they going to have it fixed in like 50 minutes? From what little I know of electric chairs, I don't think they'd be able to fix even before dawn. Those, th those things are complicated. very very close to the chapter I wanted you guys to see because <clears throat> uh, believe it or not we are actually mo I think I said it last time we are most of the way through the game there are only 18 chapters in this game and we're on chapter 12 <clears throat> please don't give him another heart attack Seriously, Cavanella is like a flexible dude. Whoever you date must be really happy with that. <laughs> also, you know, for being in America, these guards look suspiciously British. Is that just me? Where did. You just carry a chair? Where did that come from? <laughs> Wouldn't you not want that for your spotless record? Let's get back over here. Let's see if Cecil gives me a clue. No, I don't! Oh, talk to Jod again. Okay. I really do love the fact that Sissel will give you hints if you're stuck. Oh, wow, this room is laggy because there's so much stuff in it. I don't think it matters that it's his daughter. He literally just said he doesn't care if it's- that it doesn't matter if it's his daughter because he doesn't want the hostage to die at all. How do we get over there? <laughs> that is what bothers me. Cause I don't think we have her phone number. Oh, but maybe, hmm. I have a vague idea, we'll see.
I think all the models of the guards are making it minorly uh, unhappy. Let's see. How? We actually do have our phone number. Let's head over here and see what we can do. So the little girl's in bed. done with the chapter even though we didn't really do anything I'm not sure why probably just to give us a save point after all the uh, bloody blah bad for her. Those coughs sound so horrible. you would, considering you've been sitting there the whole time. Really should sneak out. Gives me an idea. Finally went down and you made it come back up again. Also, how did you buy a lighter? Aren't those things age locked? I saw lighters in the store, they were age locked. Yeah, maybe it was just that one store. It's actually pretty simple. Get Amelia to call her father. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. I wish it were, but it won't be that easy. So doesn't that phone have a cord? <laughs> Don't 
yell at your daughter. Don't yell at your sick daughter. You're a terrible mother. Also, where did you put that bottle? So you can probably already see what we need to do here. Actually, fun fact, it's not alcohol in that glass. At some point she's going to extinguish something in it and it doesn't set fire, so it's probably just wine juice. I will say this, there's actually a reason she's doing what she's doing. I mean, she is loud, but don't discount the, uh, the bitchy part just yet. Or rather, don't count it? Whatever. <laughs> okay, point taken. That, that, yes. funny. Down you go! And it's just gonna hang there, I think. That doesn't do anything at the moment. This, I think, just opens this. That also doesn't help us right now. <laughs> Sissel empathizing with the book. Okay. There's not much else I can get to from here. we do this? Mousy Swing apparently does nothing. as you can see uh, from there. We're repeating the same trick we've already used I think three times now? Our main goal is to get, I believe her name is Miss Rose, out of the way. shocked it to death. <laughs> I- that wasn't really what I intended to do, but you know what? Sure. <clears throat> Let's see, what is she gonna do? saw a way to trap her. <clears throat> also, wouldn't that hurt striking a match on your backside? 
Yeah, see? She just put fire in her glass and it didn't go up in flames, so it can't be alcohol. Though why you put fire in your drink, I don't know, but then again, I've never seen her drink it. Maybe it's just for inspiration? <laughs> really? It might actually be wine then, but why would you waste good wine by putting a match in it? Apparently we did not in fact kill the rat. <laughs> That might, in fact, be Super Rat. Let's see here. I do actually like her, despite her being kind of bitchy, if you want me to be honest. actually do this. It might just be timing based. Oh! I got her! That wasn't too hard. Poor lady. But hopefully somebody will come get her out. She's out of the way now. What good does this do us? Ma'am? I feel like Amelia is not as weak as she, uh, she's claiming that she is. Whoa. That poor rat's tail just caught on fire. I see precisely what we need to do. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Rat. It's fine. He's fine. It's just a little fire on his tail. Bonk. <laughs> Smacked her right in the face. really hilarious though. Whoever comes in to help uh, help this woman is going to have a really interesting story to tell. I 
I do too! <laughs> Alright, let's hear what's going on on the other side. Oh, I am too! <laughs> Trust me. She's, um, she's definitely up right now. <laughs> I feel like you can just very faintly hear her screaming in the background. Interesting. That's what her mother just said as well. So his smile kind of creeps me out. I think it's the beard. Mustache. Thing. Whatever that squirrel on his face is. Technically, she didn't do anything. <laughs> it was kind of all us. the best idea, Emily. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Please don't read your mother's smut novels yet. Also, I kind of loved Amelia earlier. So I don't think I did anything. <laughs> Your father apologized. K kinda, Sissel. Yeah, that's really the only place we can go that has any kind of significance. <coughs> You've literally just said that. You could have just skipped here. <laughs> Unfocused anxiety? Oh dear, what's going on? Uh, 
Uh, why are you? <clears throat> you didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. I love that pose he's doing. I don't know why. I just love the sassy hand pose. Oh, Kevin Hell's gotten serious. He went straight for the heart. Wait, is he not gonna go back? But not gonna freak out and say I'm not real? No? Why do you ask? <clears throat> Wait, what do you mean you've known for a while? Oh dear, hmm. Interesting. Oh, hi, Jowd. So are you ready to find out what's going on with him and his wife? Because it's actually pretty significantly important. So let's stick with uh, the manipulator. So if you're wondering why the prison was actually so unlike a normal prison, this is why. Because they believe that the people they put in that prison are not actually guilty of the crimes that they commit, so they give them a lot more freedom. Jowd's case and this mistake you made. <clears throat> Locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. So Jowd? <clears throat> I, uh, I wouldn't go that far, Jab. <clears throat>
Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna. Yep. Yep. And this is the source of the minister's problems. just on the top of your paper. So noting he's, notice he's vibrating a lot. It seems like he's trying to resist it. Also, your guards are terrible listeners, dude. Sometimes we can't go back yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you might be right. He might have actually. I didn't. It's kind. It's kind of impossible to tell thought bubbles from talk bubbles. But I think you might be right. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Lynn did mention she didn't remember, and when we watched, if you remember the video, she actually missed the first shot, even though Sissel was completely still. That is quite suspicious, especially with this new information. Could it be possible that Lynn was being manipulated as well? <laughs> Sissel. And this is why his wife uh, and daughter left and his wife would not let it, uh, her, their daughter call him. Because he was condemning an innocent man to death and she did not agree with what he was doing. She is pretty smart. I, that's, I actually like her a lot. This is also why he kept telling people to stay away from him. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a little bit alarming for a ghost trick. I'm a wee bit concerned about that. Is he gonna speak frankly? He certainly is. <laughs> Just a little shrug. That's because Kevin has not died yet. Uh, Cavanella? Wait, he's just running off? More than that, he has an idea of something. Oh, phone call. Well, I mean, to be fair, he was the one who proposed the manipulator, so I'm not too shocked about that. But you're right. That does actually raise some questions. Mostly because it sounded like hearing that made something snap into place. What does Cabanella know? Somebody's dead, aren't they? Also, that's actually one reason he refused to believe that uh, Sissel was real. Because if he believed that Sissel was real, he would have had to accept uh, the manipulation thing as well. Yep, what's your question? That's also why he accepted uh, Sissel was there when we got his daughter to talk to him. Since it made him decide to be upfront about all this. Yes. Ray, our ghost tutorial from the junkyard, told us that Sissel is going to disappear at dawn. We don't know. All we know is that that's when ghosts disappear, is when dawn hits. Ray didn't expand on why. 